Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale this Black & Decker 12 cup programmable coffee maker, model number CM1160. So does your coffee maker look like this? It's a Black & Decker with the programming buttons right here and that. We're gonna be using distilled white vinegar. You can use just regular white vinegar. I got this jug at Walmart for about a buck 50 and it's 64 fluid ounces. So is your coffee not tasting as good as it used to? Is your coffee not as hot? Is your coffee maker starting to get really loud and take a long time to brew coffee? These are all signs that it's time to descale the inside of your coffee maker. So here I've got a coffee maker that's pretty similar. It's got a warming plate. I cut it open. There's the water reservoir. The water comes down. And then there's this heating, there, there's this heating element down here. So the water comes in, it gets heated, and then it gets shot out this tube right here as really hot water that goes over your coffee. Now I cut this tube open, it's an aluminum heating element, and it's not very big, it doesn't have a very big hole inside it. So if you've got hard water, your calcium deposits could start to build up on the walls and kind of restrict it, so your coffee won't be as hot, and it, would, it could start to affect the taste of it also. So this is why we descale with vinegar, to kind of clean out the inside of this heating element here. You're gonna to have to give yourself about 45 minutes start to finish. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the lid. We don't need a filter, but we need this filter basket. So make sure the filter basket is installed, no coffee or anything. The craft, we're gonna make sure the lid's installed and it's empty. So you're gonna take the pure vinegar and fill it up to the six mark on this craft. So just fill it right, pure vinegar, right up to the six. Okay. Now take this over to your sink, fill it from the six to the 10 with fresh water. That'll give us our proper ratio. Okay, so I've got it filled up to the 10 mark now and with vinegar and water. Okay, so you're gonna pour the vinegar and water right back here where the water goes. Put the craft in, close the lid, and we're just gonna do a normal brew. Just come up here and hit the on off button one time. The little light's gonna come on to let us know it's brewing. Now, when vinegar brews through a coffee maker, it does give off kind of a smell, so you may need just a little bit of ventilation with it. So be careful, that water and vinegar will be really hot. And this is gonna take about 10 minutes to finish that. Okay, so it gets kind of loud towards the end, but you don't get any notification that it's done brewing. So when it's filled it up and it's done brewing that water and vinegar, come up here and just turn the coffee maker off. Now you may have to let it cool. I'm gonna show you for demonstration, but this is really hot and there's a lot of steam coming up here. So take this to the sink and throw that out and wash this out with soap and water and wash that with soap and water. So now we've gotta get that fresh, uh, we gotta do some fresh water rinses. We wanna get that uh, vinegar taste and smell out of our machine. So we need to do three fresh, two to three fresh water rinses. So I've got this rinsed out. I've got it filled up with just fresh water now. We're done with the vinegar. Now I'm gonna pour it back here. And put the craft back in, close the lid, start another brew. This is a fresh water brew. So this one will take about 10 minutes. Do the same thing, rinse that out, fill it up with fresh water do another one, and you may have to do a third one also. That way you get all the taste and smell, because that vinegar, you will kind of taste and smell it if you don't get it all out of there. Check out my detailed video on this. I show you how to make coffee. I show you how to program it if you want a fresh pot of coffee in the morning. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.